What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Flight Simming with D at D Sims Corner on Facebook and YouTube. And today we're in a new plane, man. A new plane that I copped earlier today. Uh, it's the Coxspur Cessna Mustang 510. And I guess I would compare this to uh, a little bigger than the Honda Jet, a little smaller than the CJ4. So it's kind of like a, an executive jet in the middle. We're going to take it for a quick little flight, man. We're in uh, Spirit of St. Louis in Missouri. And we're going to head over to uh, John Wayne, I think. Oh, Lord, I don't even know where I'm going. <laughs> I think I'm going over to the uh, Cleveland area. Well, KCMH. You guys can look it up. <laughs> Anyways, man. Uh, this this little jet right here, uh, pretty easy to pretty easy to operate. As is all mo most of uh, Cessnas are very user uh, user op operator friendly. So uh, let's see how she flies, man. Um, again, I'm not familiar with this, so we don't know how I'm going to land or how <laughs> terrible it's going to be. But we're going to give it a shot, anyways. It's beautiful outside. It's a little chilly out there. So we'll see how this uh, we'll see how I handle this plane or how this plane handles actually. So let's head over to the uh, to the runway. We're going to be flying out of uh, two six left here in Missouri, right outside St. Louis. This is like a little private airport or like a public. It's actually a public, not a private. It's a public airport. Um, as you can see, uh, it needs a little love because it has these uh, <laughs> these lighting these little lighting poles everywhere where they shouldn't be. I've tried, I tried looking for a. Uh, Try looking for an, uh, an um, you know, uh, an updated scenery for it. Nothing exists yet. I know there's a request for it uh, in uh, Flight TO, so hopefully somebody comes through. Somebody generous enough comes through and uh, hooks it up. And as you can see, with the marvels of editing, we're at the runway. And we're gonna take off, man. See how, uh, see how nice this. Uh, let's see how, see how this plane rotates. Not bad. I got to say, this is one of the smoothest takeoffs I've had in, in a while. <laughs> Yo, that was nice. I really, I really enjoyed that, that takeoff right there. And of course, this uh, plane uh, is utilizing the, uh, the G1000 NXI in-house by our friends at Working Title. So we're going to do this uh, little loop-de-loop -loop here and connect back up with the uh, flight path. And I got to say, the textures are, uh, are are pretty good, man. I mean, I'm not a expert at textures. I mean, to me, in my, to my eyes, if it looks good, it looks good. Uh, there are a lot of inoperable buttons in here. So, you know, as you can see, I'm trying to get used to my, my cameras and throttles. Um, might have to use uh, axes and O's to 
better uh, tune in the uh, throttle on my uh, on my Bravo. So we'll see how that works out. But yeah, this is definitely one of those uh, you you know you got to watch your speed because it's a rocket. Same with the Honda Jet. I mean the same with the CJ4. There's no no auto throttle on these things, so you have to be very attentive. As you can see, I'm close. I'm right on that edge of overspeeding. <laughs> So we got to bring her down. Now, I read somewhere there's mentions of some speed brakes for this plane. I don't know how you activate them or where they're at, so I have to do some research. And Nice view right there. Oh, I can, the shades. That's a nice touch. The shades go up and down. Um, I have to see how that, uh, if, there, if there are. See, I can see a little flap there on the wing. That could be the speed brake. Um, I just don't know how, how it's activated, so... Something to uh, study up on. But so far, this plane flies really well, man. I mean, I like it. I already like it. This is going to be in the regular rotation. By the way, I'm using uh, FS HUD for uh, ATC and uh, FS FTL for the traffic. I got to say, man, that's what an amazing add on. I, you know, a lot of people are doing the whole debate of what's better, that or AIG. I prefer this for the simplicity. Uh, to me, in my eyes, it works. Uh, yeah, you don't have the extensive uh, models and liveries, I guess. But, I mean, to me, I don't, I, I'm not, it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't break my immersion. I mean, as long as there's some planes there with some actual liveries, I'm, I'm good with that. You know, AIG, if you, you know, if you want to be uploading all the time and hoping it doesn't crash don't get me wrong i'm not trashing aig at all i loved it i used it uh but i you know this is just simpler for me uh you know i'm not really that crazy and, and just uh you know anal about the uh, liveries and and flight model you know models and stuff like that as long as you can see some planes in the air it's cool i'm, I'm good with it <laughs> you know what i mean so so far so good man I'm digging this I'm digging this plane now, I think this is Coxburg's second plane I think they had some prop plane before that I really didn't look into it I bought this off their website I'll have the link in the description um, it was 25 bucks and to this point at this moment I say it's worth it I love these little business jets man I love them I love them I love the Honda jet I love the CJ4 and uh, it's good to have a third one. Now, I don't know what they're doing with this. This phone, it doesn't turn on. I don't know if it can turn on. I don't, it doesn't seem to be operative. Uh, I don't know if there's a future plan for it or if there's a plan for an EFB to go there at some point. I'm pretty sure this plane's gonna be updated. Uh, you know, some of the doors don't have any sound effects. Um, and and I, I, I mean, to me, my ear, I think the engine sounds can use some help, but I could be wrong. Um, so there's a few things that could, that could, uh, need improvement. Oh, look at that plane flying right above us. Uh, there's some things that could, could use improvement, but for the most part, plane looks good, man. Uh, the outside looks good to me. You know? I dig it, man. I dig it for 25 bucks worth it. I think when I downloaded this, it was already an update put out the day prior. Uh, so let's see how frequent they update this plane to improve it. Maybe they'll add a lot of those function, you know, un uh, inoperative uh, buttons and make them functional. All right, so we're gonna make our way to uh, wherever it is I'm going, <laughs> and see how uh, you'll be seeing the uh, landing perspective from a passenger. Uh, I'm trying to change it up a little bit. Some more planes, a lot of traffic out here. <laughs> and of course, we were flying up to um, flying up to. 35,000 feet, so it's, it's going to be a, a short cruise before we make our descent. Uh, I think uh, it's 450 miles. So I want to give a shout to, uh, to the few subscribers that uh, subscribe to the channel, man, I appreciate that. Uh, some who I've actually interacted with. 
uh, in the comment section. Uh, really appreciate it, man. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, uh, it's it's cool interacting with people that enjoy the hobby as much as I do. And uh, you know, if you got any tips, recommendations, you know what I'm saying? Some you know, you know, some advice to to, to help me improve my skills in in, in simming, flight simming. Hit, the, hit up the comment section, man. I appreciate it. Um, and also, if you dig the video, hit like, subscribe, all that good stuff, you know. I don't be stressing that. This is more of a of a hobby for me and just, uh, just to share with whoever wants to watch my love of the, uh, the flights of me, you know. But appreciate those who subscribed and, uh, you know, who hit like on the videos and enjoy it. Anyways, oh, there's my, my dead phone. Oh, here, here's a checklist for the uh, plane and uh, it's all you get, right? <laughs> it's not very detailed. It's just the basics. Uh, and then you can just flip it over by hitting that little square at the bottom. So, again, I don't know if this gets updated and we get some checklists. Would have helped. Uh, I was having issues with starting the engines, so I just did a control E, you know. Um, but uh, I have to go back and go through, a, find the manual, or of course, another wonderful uh, YouTube video from uh, from one of the many tutorials that uh, always end up on on YouTube. Great tutorials, by the way, um, and see what was, what I was doing wrong. I always feel I always feel like Control E is cheating. So, <laughs> but uh, I just wanted to get up in the air and fly this bird, see how how it is. So, as you can see, you see some traffic in the sky. There's been a lot of traffic around here, man. There's planes everywhere. <laughs> but anyways, man. Uh, I'm going to let the rest of the video roll, and uh, we'll see uh, how, how I land this bad boy. Uh, you know how it is, man. As long as I get it on the ground, it could be pretty ugly. As long as it gets on the ground, the plane doesn't fall apart, it's a success, right? <laughs> so let's see, how, uh, let's see how I land this bird. By the way, I'm, I'm doing RNAV. I think uh, the runway I'm flying into is going to be an RNAV approach. So... I have a lot of I have I have a lot to practice with the R now. For some reason, um, catching that glide scope uh, doesn't seem to work for me. I don't know if it's because of the. I, I think that's. I'm hoping that's improved on the NXI. But I mean, I, I've always I always get to that point where the glide scope where you're supposed to catch the glide scope at that you know certain certain uh, certain height flight level but for some reason I always have bad luck and I, I always have to end up flying man you know flying it in manually which I, you know I guess if you're if you have a clear if you have clear side of it not a big deal but you know I just always like you know would like to grab the glide scope at one point you know what I mean just, so it could be I'm doing it wrong or you know our nav I know our nav isn't fully implemented in Microsoft flight simulator if I'm wrong let me know but Anyways, we'll see how this, we'll see how this goes for us.
All right, here we go, man. Making the final approach to uh, to the runway here, and uh, we'll see how we touch down. All right, man. So I landed it like I was on a trampoline. <laughs> uh, this is very bouncy, man. Uh, I wasn't. I, I, I'm pretty sure I didn't flare that much to make it bounce like that. Uh, could have been coming in too fast. Um, I was trying to come in at 135, which is I, 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 I guess was like the recommended landing speed of, at full. At full flaps, but uh, again, with everything, it takes practice, man. So we got it on the ground, and uh, I'm gonna call this one. I always call it a success if I could just get it on the ground and the game doesn't crash out, like it doesn't say I crash. So just uh, just gonna practice it a little more. But listen, I love this plane, great plane. Uh, I'm gonna be using it a lot more on the channel, and hopefully, we'll get better at uh, touching the bird down. <laughs> Anyways, man, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace.